Mid Journey has new competition and you'll be blown away by the many capabilities of this tool and what results you can you can get using this tool all right and there's there's a lot of impressive works users have um, have produced with this tool this tool is has a lot of advanced options tools that you can use and i think it's a very it's it's a really simply a competitor to mid journey okay and now i'm going to show you some of the things you can do in leonardo.ai leonardo.ai okay so first here if you click on community feed this is where you're going to see all the work users have created so it's really beautiful that's for sure and what i like and i want to click on um, image someone created let's say this user you can see prompts detail you can also remix this will copy as you can see here this will copy and i'll generate and all generation settings over to the ai generation tool so you can remix the image generation you can also copy prompt and you can also do image to image so this will copy the prompt over to the ai generation tool and you also have a lot of options you can uh, download share and uh, you can uh, generate with this model right so you have a lot of options and um this tool it's really powerful you can create a lot of work using different different models as you can see here we have a bunch of models right here let's say i'd like to use this model cute animal characters maybe or actually let's use leonardo select or leonardo creative maybe this one so you can simply so you can simply now click on generate with this model and you're going to generate some images using this model that's already being trained images created this model as you can see there's tons of images that used this model so let's click now click uh, on generate with this model now we have here a lot of options i created here a couple of uh, images i generated using this ai and for sure it's really powerful and you'll see okay now here you can click you can uh, sorry here you can type your prompt you can also type negative prompt and you also have the model style we selected but we ha also have stable diffusion 1.5 stable diffusion 2.1 we also can select a custom model and we also have leonardo signature leonardo select leonardo creative we have tons of fine-tuned model and what's interesting about this tool you can also train and train your own model so that's very powerful okay and here we can select number of images image dimensions and guidance scale step count or also we have image to image which uh, gave him some really interesting results here you see the results I did from uh, created from image to image. I used the image from uh, Pixabay, and it gave me really interesting results. You can create with this. Actually, let me. Tr I'll try right now. So you can upload here an image, and then you can increase or decrease the int strength. As you can see, higher int. 
strength will preserve the original image more so around five or six you can experiment with that also here you have show advanced settings we also fix we also have fixed seed and schedule all right so here let's uh, try something okay right so i paste the prompt right over here and you can also enable negative prompt from here and i'll type negative uh, prompt or I'll paste and now you can um you can also have prompt magic and uh, it's still experiment, still an experiment, and um, we'll see later. Now let's generate without prompt magic, and then I'll, I'll enable prompt magic, and um, I'll see if there's any new results. There's better results. So I'll pause the video now. Okay, and these are the results. Now we can also increase the strength here. And if you'll want your image to look like the image generated, then uh, you can simply increase your int strength. So we don't waste any second. I'm going to show you now some results I, I got from um, the same image to image, same image I used. And uh, I just, the goal is just, I wanted to create something um, to make, to just add some uh, beauty, like to cr make this um, girl look uh, just a, a bit different, right? But her facial structure to, to be the same, right? As you can see here, we have the same facial uh, structure, but uh, her face, it's not her face, but her, you know, like it's a bit different. So that's what I was looking for. And the results are pretty good. Look here as well. And uh, yeah, but what I like about this uh, website, AI, we also have prompt generation. And on top of that, when you generated an image, you also have a lot of options here. Not only download image, but you can also zoom, unzoom image. We can also have a uh, remove background. Here, let's test this upscale image. I'll just click on this one. Upscale image. We also have edit in canvas. We also can delete the image. So that's what I like about this tool. You have a lot of options and you can get really, really good results. And also have, as I said, the prompt generation. So as you can see here, this tool will allow you to come up with some complex prompts ideas from simple prompt. If you type in a car and click, I um, click, uh, you will come up with some a number of complex concepts, which include a car. So let's try a car. Uh, car so that's really really powerful generate new prompt ideas so if that's really interesting ideas so that's a great option when you don't have any idea so actually let's use this prompt we generated here now we use this prompt so this prompt generation this option you don't have in mid journey so the fact that you have this option here that's what i like about this tool you have a bunch of different options and uh, you also have great results i really like to hear guys uh, your feedback in the comment section i'd like to hear your thoughts as well i'm pretty curious to read your comments but if you ask me i'm pretty excited and i, I pretty like it i like this tool and it's also free compared with Mid Journey. For those that are looking for a free version, Leonardo AI it's a good it's a good option. I like it. I'll test more this um, this tool, this AI Leonardo. 
So make sure you subscribe, I'll create more videos about this tool, because it uh, really, really grabbed my attention. Because also this tool I think is very very powerful, the fact that you sometimes you simply are not inspired, you don't have any ideas. And this can really just add here a couple of ideas and this will generate some prompts for you, right? So yeah. Now let's remove this, uh, remove this and create another one. Hey guys, that's the end of this video. Um, I will create the part two. Make sure to subscribe for more videos. And um, yeah, I like don't hesitate to leave your thoughts in the comment section. I would really like to read uh, your comments. So thank you for watching and take care.